Hello everyone, it is Simtastic for Real here and we are back with another part of the Vampire Magic Let's Play. We are at part number 14 and I know it's been a couple weeks since I've posted a part, uh, but with the holiday and everything in between, it was hard. Uh, so we are back though and um, we... Uh, in the last part we had an ending so if you didn't see the ending there is going to be spoilers uh, so you could go ahead and go watch that and then come back to this episode but in the last part we saw Vlad actually got taken um, and um, Clementine and her sister kind of had a little bit of a disagreement a little bit of an argument there were some secrets spilled something involving uh, Agatha's husband and Ophelia and so uh, yeah so everything's getting a little bit crazy in the vampire magic let's play uh, I think in this part though uh, I think we're just gonna see what happens focus on uh, Clementine and Agatha and Annabeth um, I do want Annabeth to kind of go out with um, Delilah or go over to Delilah's house or something just to see her in this part, I think, would be good. I think I want Annabeth to see uh, Delilah in this part, just to see her, because that is her girlfriend. Um, and yeah, things are just getting crazy. So let's go ahead and jump in here. Um, and I can't remember in the last part if I told you guys, but both the chickens have passed away. It's really sad. I kind of want to get cows in this game, though. Kind of want to get cows in this Let's Play. <laughs> Um, I don't know. Will that be weird? It's slightly dirty because all the chickens are gone. Um, maybe it might be weird to have cows in a vampire neighborhood. I don't know. I don't know. All right, hold on. <laughs> Let me see. So what's going on in the house here? So Ophelia is making a mess in Annabeth's room. I think Annabeth will just come and clean it up and be like, sorry, mom. Sorry. Uh, I got a little bit carried away with the paint. Um, I'm just like painting some stuff in my room and she'll just be like just please be more careful darling you know how I hate messes <laughs> even though she's a vampire and she sucks blood for basically a living um, but she hates messes guys okay so Ophelia is possessing the bear which is great that's great Ophelia okay um, and then also just like clean this up, which is fine. I do want to get rid of this and like put a couch or something, but then I also, I want Ophelia to have something to play with, although she does have the toy box in here as well. Um, oh, Ophelia's cleaning it up. What a nice, what a nice little girl she is. She's going to clean it up. Um, yeah, I kind of want to put like a couch or like a chair in here or maybe like some bookcase. It. Oh, well, we can't block the windows. Um, maybe like, I don't know, mirrors or something for her to just come in, like kind of a walk-in type closet. Ophelia! Ophelia! What are you doing out of Annabeth's room? All right, you guys, all is well. Ophelia is back in Annabeth's room. That was crazy. She just escaped. Uh, but anyways... Yeah, so Vlad is missing. No one knows where he is. There's been talk in the town that he is no longer here. I do want to check out this little secret compartment, though. I don't think I've ever seen that. Or is that just, like, random? That's not actually anything that you can go to. Oh. Aw, oh, dang it. Maybe we have to have, like, I don't know. Because there are, like, little secret passages in the worlds. Um, I don't know if there was one that came with Forgotten Hollow. I don't remember but there could have been. Um, anyways, so, oh, we have to also take care of our tree. Oh no, there's nothing on here. I also want to move it because it's kind of clipping into the window a little bit. All right, you guys. So this may be a little bit of a chill part, uh, just because I am getting back into it. Um, cause I've been gone, you know, like I said, from the holiday and everything, but yeah, you guys, Vlad is gone and it's just strange. So, oh yeah, that's what I was saying. So there's talk, been talk in the town um, that he is missing. And he's kind of like the, uh, you know, the vampire um, master, you know, type of thing. Like he lives on top of that big hill and he kind of oversees the town. So he, I guess you could say he's kind of like the mayor of the town. Um, 
and he kind of just oversees everything and makes sure everyone's, you know, doing their part and helping out. And so with him being gone, it's just kind of weird and everyone doesn't know where he is. And uh, they're just hoping that he's okay. And Clementine, you know, just basically said, yeah, she went to his house and he was gone. Um, I think Agatha may know a little bit more, but she's just not telling her sister you know, where she is a witch, she probably can see like what's going on. Um, but her and her sister are kind of in a fight right now. And, um, oh yeah, they're in a big fight. They do not like each other. Um, but I think Agatha is also just more disappointed in Clementine that Clementine is just really focusing on, you know, Vlad and everything that's going on there not really trying to find her husband. And also, you know, I mean, Annabeth is a teenager and barely knows her mom. And so I think Agatha sees that and she's just, you know, just really heartbroken at the whole situation. And she feels bad for Annabeth, but, you know, that's Annabeth's mom. Is she going to bed or? Oh, yeah, she's going to go to bed. And Ophelia is asleep. Oh, she's not sleeping properly. She's sleeping on the outside. So why don't you go ahead and go in to the bed? All right, you guys, I think what I'm going to do is I am going to skip ahead to the morning unless something like crazy happens at night. Uh, but yeah, I will go ahead and skip until the morning. All right, you guys. So sorry about that. Um, I kind of sped ahead a little bit. Um, Counterbullying, confront them, ignore them, just ignore them. Okay, so I kind of did a thing in the middle of the night. I got a cow <laughs> and her name is Clara and it's so cute. I can't. And I made this like little area over here because the chicken coop, it was just too painful for Agatha to look at cause she loved those chickens. So we got her this cute little cow, little pen. Um, I probably will spruce it up a little. And I know I said that with the chicken coop and I never did, but this one we will because, oh my gosh, so cute. I can't. Look how cute the cow is. Uh, hunger is full, normal milk, attention okay. Her happiness is fine. Um, clean Clara? What does that look like? Why are you so angry? Oh, I also have to get, had to get rid of that big huge tree that was out here. It kind of was like the magical, not magical one, but like, it kind of looked like a vampire tree and I just stuck this one in because I mean, Agatha is a magical sim. She can make trees appear and disappear and she can make a full barn with a pen and um, everything just appear. Like she's that magical guys. So she did this for herself cause she was very heartbroken about the chickens. She's really heartbroken about what's going on with her sister. So she's like, I think getting myself a little cow uh, animal that I can take care of will be a lot better. So that's what we did. Whatever Agatha wants, she can definitely get. So she just made this little bar uh, barn for herself and now she's got a cow. She also made herself some mac and cheese and the quality is poor. Oh no, that was from Annabeth. I was gonna say, <laughs> quality is poor. Okay. And then can she milk her? Oh my gosh, you guys. She's milking her in, in her heels and dress. Oh, and she's missing the bucket. Cool. Oh. Clara did not like that. Well, spilt milk. What is smoothlet? Utter disaster for milking a cow. There's milk everywhere. Almost makes you want to cry. Oh. She's gonna go look at pictures of her family. <laughs> She's like, I can't do this anymore. I gotta go look at these pictures. Um, vent about cow life. Oh my gosh. I also need her to pick um, Evolve this and then I need her to harvest all. Uh, so that way there we can get the contents of the tree because her sister is very hurting for drink and um, She actually while I was setting up this pen. She actually drank from Annabeth 
because Annabeth was near her and any sim that is near Clementine when she's so thirsty she just doesn't care so she's basically doesn't really talk to her daughter and she drank from her so their relationship is great guys <laughs> I would say it's a 10 out of 10 relationship um anyways and I didn't even plan for that to happen it just Annabeth looked so angry and um yeah yeah so that happened and um yeah we're just gonna pretend that I mean we can't pretend that it didn't but that's okay okay so Agatha are you gonna clean up can you just like discard all the content since it's poor quality and no one's gonna want to eat that and you're basically the cook of the family um, I also need her to use the bathroom and then she can just go and take a proper sleep because last night she did the same thing. She just kind of like slept on her bed like that. And I don't think Sims get proper sleep when they don't get like under the covers and get all nice and cozy. So we're going to go ahead and let Agatha do that. But I am so excited about our cow and it was just kind of like an accident that, I, well, I mean, I was actually talking about it at the beginning, but, um... I just was like, I think the barn would look so cute over here. And also, I'm getting really angry because I decorated this whole thing, like, super nicely. And every time, my bushes um, disappear. The bushes that I put around it just disappear. And I don't understand what's going on. Because <laughs> I'm getting really angry and I keep putting them around it and they keep disappearing. So, um, getting angry. Oh my gosh, can she have a, a picnic? She's going to pack a potato. Sure. Just go ahead and pack that potato in your little lunch pail. <laughs> I don't know what that even does. I don't know. I want to find out, though. I'm so excited, guys. Uh, <laughs> I really want to do a uh, cottage living let's play, I think, after um, whatever is done. Oh, my gosh. What should she do? Open it now? Could she eat it? No. Aw, that's it? I thought you could like have a little picnic. Am I not doing it right, guys? Oh, set up picnic. It needs to be placed on a picnic table. Gotcha. Okay. All right. Sounds good. All right. Can you open it and then just take the potato out? Because you can't even eat that. <laughs> it's a raw potato. <laughs> guys, it's a raw potato. Okay. Anyways. Um, all right, so can you clean her again? Just because I think that, oh, I wanted her to sleep actually properly, but that's okay. You can sleep tonight. It's fine. You'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Agatha, I got you. I got you, girlfriend. You'll be fine tonight. All right. Also, uh, I hope the girls are coming home soon. Uh, yeah, she's bitten. Recently bitten from being bitten by a vampire. Ow, that, why does it hurt? probably because you got bitten by your mom and you didn't think your mom would bite you. I mean, who thinks that their mom would bite them? Not me. So <laughs> gosh, I'm in like a mood tonight. I don't know. Sorry guys. Um, anyways. Oh, she doesn't like that either. Clara really does not like us. Clara, send Clara in. Get out of here. Oh, she doesn't like her. Okay. Does she like us? Oh, okay. She's all right with us. I mean, we're not the best of friends. I mean, I wouldn't really, like, say that they would, like, go to a movie and, like, hang out. But, I mean, they're they're fine. <laughs> but, like, you go to a movie with your cow. Who does that? Probably no one. All right, guys. I'm in a mood right now. And I'm just making, like, stupid jokes. But, anyway. <laughs> all right. So, Yeah. So are the girls going to be coming home soon? And Clementine, I think, she seems okay. She's, like, focused. She's, like, set her sights on how she can get Vlad back, and she is focused. And she bit her daughter because she was just, like, focused on Vlad, which is so horrible. Um, is she also really hungry? No, okay. Oh, well, she's going to be. She, um, Annabeth invited over a classmate, Sophia. I don't know if this is, like, the safest time to invite someone over because your mom can't control her thirst. So why don't we not? Time to wear black. She has a mood swing. You're already in black, sweetheart. So you're good. You're covered. 
All right, so um, what we will do is uh, I'm going to get the girls all, like, situated and get their fun up and everything and get them to do their homework, and then I'll be back, guys. All right, you guys. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and end this part right here. I know it's kind of a chill part. We're just kind of checking up on everyone. Um, what you missed was Delilah sent Annabeth a text saying, I can't believe you would drink people's blood. And I think that that's a glitch because Annabeth definitely did not drink anyone's blood. Um, I think maybe she was talking about, I can't believe your mom drank your blood. That's so horrible because, you know, of course, Delilah knows um, that Annabeth's mom is a vampire and Annabeth knows that Delilah's whole family is a vampire so they can like talk about those types of things. Um, also, Agatha and Clementine got into a fight, like an actual fist fight, which we missed. So, yeah, there's that. So they now actually despise each other. So their fight was huge um, in the last part. Um, their fight was, yeah, massive, and it was, like, really bad, and they both can't get over it. And um, Agatha keeps bringing up all of these, like, old things that Clementine did, and Clementine doesn't want to hear it. So it's been pretty bad, you guys. Um, so don't know where the Let's Play is going to go from here um, now that uh, everyone basically despises the everyone. And this house is awful right now. <laughs> like, everyone's so unhappy in this house. Ophelia is upset. Annabeth is upset. Everyone's upset. The only, well, Clara is kind of upset because she doesn't really like anyone. Um, I was going to say the only one that's not upset is Clara, but she also kicked her milk over. So I would say Clara is a little upset. So anyways, you guys, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and end the part right here. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. And I will talk to you all in the next video.